President Obama has backed Britain's role in Afghanistan, saying that the UK's involvement is critical in safeguarding the country's future. Speaking exclusively to Sky News, he praised what he called the extraordinary efforts of British forces and said his heart went out to those families of the soldiers killed in action. The US president also criticized Fleet Street journalists for perpetuating reports that he resents Britain because of its colonial past. He spoke to our political editor, Adam Bolton, at the end of his visit to Ghana. How's that? Good to see you. I hope we can rather spot the exhibit for your kids. They were in here, but they had to stop just to now, right? We're here at a slave fortress from which many African-Americans started their journey to America, and I think your own wife has said she can't trace her family. She didn't know how they got there. We saw you going around with your children and your family. Pretty somber experience for you all. Well, somber, uh, but I think instructive. I'm glad my children came because p part of what I try to communicate to them is that slavery, like the Holocaust, uh, like other instances of extraordinary uh, cruelty, uh, can happen anywhere, any place, and is usually rooted in uh, one group of people asserting superiority over another group of people. And I want them to learn very early uh, how dangerous uh, that mindset can be and to fight against it. It's been alleged that you don't like the Brits because of what they did to your grandfather. Yeah, I, I've always been curious about this allegation. I love uh, the Brits and uh, and I think I've, I've shown my affection every time I travel there, but uh, uh, you know, I, th I think this is an example of uh, Fleet Street trying to sell uh, newspapers. Yeah, but also, I mean, there must be some resentment in, in, well, in countries that were colonized. Well, no, I mean, look, the, uh, uh, you know, the notion that somehow uh, I would uh, judge countries at this point based on what happened a hundred years ago uh, uh, is, is not something that uh, would make much sense. Moving on to Afghanistan. The United States has played a much higher price in lives in both Iraq and Afghanistan than Britain. You've had more troops there. Yet this week uh, there have been 15 deaths in, in fewer days and the number of British military killed in Afghanistan now exceeds Iraq. A growing number of people in, at home who are just saying we haven't got this mission right, perhaps we don't have the strength or the support that we need. What, what do you say to them? Well, first of all, I, I, my heart obviously goes out to the families of those British soldiers. Uh, and uh, Great Britain has played an extraordinary role in this coalition, understanding that we cannot allow either Afghanistan or Pakistan to be a safe haven for Al Qaeda, those who would with impunity blow up train stations in London or buildings in uh, New York. But do you need the British forces? I mean, you've taken over from them in Basra, you're now leading the mission in Helmand. Well, look, the contribution of the British is critical. This is not an American mission. The, the, the mission in Afghanistan uh, is one that the Europeans have as much, if not more, of a stake in than we do. Certainly the Afghans, as well as the Pakistanis, have more of a stake than we do. The, the likelihood of uh, a terrorist attack in London is at least as high, if not higher, uh, than it is uh, in the United States. Uh, be, and that's the reason why uh, Tony Blair and Gordon Brown and others have made this commitment. It's not because they, uh, they wish to put their uh, young men and women in harm's way. It's because of the recognition that we've got a serious fight on our hands and we've got to deal with it smartly but we've got to deal with it effectively. Final question because I'm keeping you from Air Force One. Yeah. Uh, President Assad last week uh, invited you on Sky News to start negotiating face to face and to go to Syria. Are you going to accept that invitation? Well, I, you know, I think that uh, we've started to see some diplomatic contacts between the United States and Syria. Uh, uh, there, there are uh, aspects of Syrian behavior that trouble us uh, and uh, you know, we think that uh, there is a way that Syria can be much more constructive on a whole host of these issues. But uh, as you know, I'm a believer in engagement, and uh, my hope is, is that uh, we can continue to see progress on that front. Thank you very much for engaging with us. Thank you. I enjoyed it. Appreciate it.